After we've set our page uh, dimensions up and we have our uh, browser color and our page color, uh, we want to take and add some graphics to our page. So in order to do that, um, what we have to do is take and come over here and let's go to show media. Uh, this here will give us selections up here to add audio, photos, movies, and widgets. What I want to do is take and add a um, picture to this. This, is, this website is going to be for a football pool that I'm involved in. Okay, so what I'm going to do is drag some pictures into the stage here. Okay, we're going to take and do this one and this one and maybe this one here and this one here for the time being. But now we got them on our stage. We're going to make the football field our background header. But you see as we take and pull this, uh, this here is sort of constrained. It's moving, you know, every time that we pull it to the right here it expands to the bottom also. We want to stop this okay? because we want to have a specific size up there across our header. Now in order to do that if we go over here to where this little ruler is in our inspector okay, it will show us the actual size of the of the photo that we have here at the present time. What's done is it, it is constraining uh, proportions. We want to take and undo this because we know that our our page is uh, 1,000 uh, coming across and uh, the bottom is going to take and sort of self-adjust by itself. Okay, now it all depends where we want to. We could take and center this and add stuff, you know, to it or do whatever we wanted to in order to take and create our header. We're just going to take and put a few things in it right now just to, just to have some fun with it. What we want to do is take and right here it's showing 977 Let's make that a thousand. Okay, so we just take and hit that up. You can take and control the width either by these uh, things here on the side or you can control it right here. Now the height is a little bit too high. I usually like to go like 150. You can make this whatever you want to, even say 135 or something like that. But I'm going to hold it at 150. Now we're in a position here where, see it's just taking in the whole area that we have. Okay, so we slide it up and now it's on the top. Now we have it in the header area of our website. Now the thing is I'm going to take this uh, little picture of a mouse that I made previously and we're going to take and put him up here right here. Okay. It's actually called a rat. And this here is a donkey. Okay and commonly called an ass. So we have a rat's ass right here. Now the thing is, we're going to put these guys on the football field. Uh, so we want let's put a little helmet on them, have a little bit of fun with this, okay? So we shrink that helmet down, and we're going to put it right here on this uh, donkey. Whoops! You got to be inside there to bring this thing down, and see what we can do to make it look sort of right. Okay, it's not really right, but it, it'll do. Now the thing is, I want to take and put the same helmet on the on the rat over here too. So what I do is take and duplicate this. Okay, while you're on it, all you have to do is right click and you get this. Now I duplicated this here and we're going to have both of them be uh, football players with a football helmet. Now the rat's a little bit smaller so we're going to take and make his a little bit smaller. So I come and click this one on here first, hold my shift key down and then I got the other one too. So I have them both selected and I can take and move my donkey wherever I want to put him. And I can do the same over here with the my little rat buddy. That shows how we can take and move photos into iWeb from iPhoto.